today. Thank God for everybody who's here from different parts. Amen. The word we greet you in Jesus' name. I um, want to encourage us. We're praying for our leaders this morning and for the churches. Amen. I begin to pray for, for breakthrough, breakthrough um, information, for breakthrough inspiration, breakthrough knowledge. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm going to mute some of us. If you have background noise, please mute so we can just be clear to hear everybody, hear out to hear the word. Amen. As I was praying, I, I considered that, that Moses got breakthrough information when he was at the Red Sea. And uh, Joshua got some breakthrough information when he was um, approaching Jericho. And sometimes our leaders are faced with impossible situations. It's, it's just humanly impossible. There doesn't appear to be another way out. But the Lord said that he would always make a way of escape. And so we want to continue to pray for breakthrough knowledge, breakthrough information. What makes us threat and sweat does not trouble God because he's a God of breakthrough. Amen. He's a God that knows what is to happen next. And occasionally, occasionally, the Lord has to do something that no one has ever seen before. At the Red Sea, it was something that no one had ever seen before. At Jericho, it was something that no one had ever seen before. And sometimes we struggle when we're in situations that appear to be unprecedented and we don't know what to do. Let's pray for our leaders. A lot of them are facing very challenging situations right now around the world. But God has breakthrough information for the church in this season. And it's in line with the theme of my heart today, which is that it's another day to be helped. It's another day to be helped. And I want to emphasize on this because so much, so many times as believers, we, we focus upon the problems, we look at the barriers, and, and we sometimes stop looking at the God who is our helper. We sometimes stop looking at uh, the God who is way maker. And we begin to, to, to worry about our own resources. We, we start checking over the bank account. And uh, you know we start when we do the maths, it doesn't work out. We don't have enough money to cover the things that we need to cover. And so we begin to threat in those situations and, and, get, and get worried. But there's a few verses I just wanted to bring just to remind us this morning that the Lord is our helper. Um, it was in the writing of the book of Acts. I believe this was, was Paul's utterance. It says, having therefore obtained the help of God, I continue unto this day, witnessing both to small and great, saying none other things than those which the prophet Moses, prophets and Moses did say should come. And I just, I just like this when you consider the, the journeys of Paul and his, and all that he had to go through. Um, the, you know, the spirit of his writings was always begging for prayer. You know, as much as we understand him to be a great man of God, always asking the church to pray for him. He's always telling the church how much he's praying for them, how much he cares for them. And just to hear him say, having obtained help of God, I continue unto this day. I believe that's all about testimonies. If it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, uh, where would we be? We wouldn't have made it this far, but we have come this far because we have obtained help from God. Titus 2.11, written there, the grace of God that brings salvation have appeared to all men. You know, the next verse is one of my favorite for teaching, but he's teaching us to deny and godliness and worldly lust. But I just want to focus this morning on the grace that has appeared to all. The enemy can have some of us get into a, a, a mindset where we think that we are being unfairly treated or we can feel that nobody's going through what I'm going through. Why is it so hard for me? Sometimes you're looking at other people who are blessed and you don't know that they went through exactly the same thing that you're going through today, but years ago. Uh, sometimes you don't know what people have gone through to get the blessings and the breakthroughs that they currently have in their life. And so it says it's the grace of God that has appeared to everyone. The same grace that's on my life is available to you. The same grace that my, your sister and brother is operating in is a grace that's appeared to everybody. The grace of God has appeared to all men. The help that you need is available to you this morning. It's another day to be helped by God. Second Corinthians 12, nine. He said unto me, my grace is sufficient for you. For my strength is made perfect 
in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I glory, rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. This is a, is a, is a, a difficult thing to wrap your head around. That the man of God can get to a point where he says, I'm going to rejoice in the problem that I have. I'm going to rejoice in the weaknesses. I'm going to rejoice in the difficult situations because every time I get in impossible situations, every time I'm faced in, you know, with, with things, with problems I can't solve, every time I get in a situation where I don't know what to do, the power of Christ has an opportunity to rest upon me. I now have an opportunity for the demonstration of God's power. So I'm going to glory in the infirmity. I'm going to give, I'm going to glory in the problem because in that I am closest to God because it, it forces him to work on my behalf. My grace, the Lord said, we know Paul here was praying for a certain situation to, to, um, to go from his life. And the Lord said to him, I'm not taking it away because I'm giving you the power to go through it. We would love the Lord to just delete our problems. We would love for him to just get rid of the issues. But someone needs to hear today, your issue is not going anywhere. But God is going to be with you through that issue. He's going to teach you. The songwriter says, I'm learning how to lean and depend on Jesus. He's going to be with you. The psalmist didn't say he took me out of the shadow of the valley of death. He didn't say he took me out of it. He says, yay, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil. Why? Because you're with me. Being in the problem means that God is with me because I can't get through it on my own. And the Lord needs us to go through situations that we can't solve. Otherwise, we become full of pride. He needs us to go through problems that we can't fix. Otherwise, we'd, we'd get it twisted about what happened when he saved us. He didn't deliver us from everything going on around us, but he says, Lo, I am with you always. I will be with you. Saints, this is another day to be helped by God. You might be looking at a situation thinking, I can't solve it. This is an opportunity for God to show up. You might be I've, I've, you know, tired with the way church is going. Today's another day for God to show up. I believe by the way we prayed this morning, we're praying away um, the, the, the death and the deadness of worship of church situations like this is a time for God to send his fire if nobody's praising God you praise him I made a decision a few weeks ago I'm going to stop matching the energy of dead people <laughs> I'm going to stop trying to match the energy of dead people what do I mean by that I go on to a zoom meeting and people are sitting there like this in the middle of worship I'm not, I'm not matching your energy I decided I'm going to stand up and I'm going to worship. I'm going to do exactly what I would do if, as if I was in church. I'm not letting your the deadness that you bring to church make me dead. That's not how I worship. So I switch my camera on. And I tell my kids, stand up. It's worship time. Sing the song. It's worship time. Don't match the energy of dead people. Obtain help from the Lord. Get the help that you need. This is another day for God to be glorified. The good thing about it, listen, in your house, it doesn't matter who's not worshiping on Zoom. The power of God in your house is dependent upon your praises. It's not the person who's leading the singing. It's all about what you are bringing to the service. It's all about what you are bringing to your worship. It's another day to be helped by God. Saints, I'm looking forward for help from God today. I am looking forward for how the Lord is going to do it again because he just does i remember when we was going church and in the building sometimes we'd have to go in the midweek sometimes we're going on the sunday night physically tired after a long week of work or a long day of work how many of you remember this you go in and you didn't even feel like you could worship but there was just a song that was sung man and your spirit your spirit got involved in the worship and before you knew it you were refreshed 100 percent, like you weren't tired Listen, I don't want those experiences to just be reserved for the building. I must praise him in my house. I must have that experience of renewal through worship. There were times the, the word wasn't for me, but I had a chance to worship and the worship made all the difference. I got everything I needed from just being in worship. That was, that's what church was to me. If there was a great word, wonderful. But man, if there was no worship, there's a real problem.
How can we now be in a place where we accept not worshiping God? And we're not singing unto the Lord with all of our heart like how we used to, man. You need to shake yourself. Shake yourself up from the dust. Receive help from the Lord. God's grace is sufficient. And today, 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 today is another day to be helped by God. I, I wrote a song recently, or maybe it was just a poem privately. And one of the lines in there was that he's the hand of hands. He's got the hands of all hands. I want to be touched by that hand. I want to be held by that hand, the hand of hands. Touch him today and let him touch you that others may know and be blessed. Be helped today in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord.